All right, so this is the Magic Box Lite. I don't have any spare packaging, but this is what the device is gonna look like outside of the box. Um, it's really, really small in my hand. It's a small device, it tucks away very nicely. So uh, we are using an aftermarket Alpine. This works on any car with a wired CarPlay connection. So it's a USB-C connection. So we've got our USB-C here that's gonna go into the Magic Box Lite. And then this is a USB-A that goes into, this is just my CarPlay port. So it, yours may look a little bit more like that in there, but besides the point um, where you get this connected, so I'm gonna throw the Magic Box light there and then just make sure it gets fully connected. You'll hear it click right there. And then you'll see a little LED status symbol. It'll load up on your um, CarPlay screen Apple CarPlay will illuminate by default. It does take 10 to 15 seconds to start up, but what I've noticed is by the time you actually, um, you know, get your car started, you buckle up, you get settled, it's already gonna be loaded. Like that, that 10 to 15 seconds goes by super quickly. Um, agree and accept that you're not gonna, you know, watch TV while, while driving, that's not the intended use case. Okay, so right here, this is the default Magic Box light screen. So you've got Netflix, YouTube, CarPlay, Android Auto, and a couple of different other settings. So one thing um, that you're gonna wanna make sure is if you're using Netflix or YouTube, you're gonna want to go into settings, network, and internet. Make sure Wi-Fi is on, and then your Wi-Fi network will show up here. You can click in here and see all the available networks. So a ton of these are gonna pop up. Uh, we've got a bunch of houses around here. I'm recording on my phone, so I can't actually connect to the uh, mobile hotspot right now, but essentially uh, you just swipe down if you're on a mobile, um, if you're on an iPhone and navigate to personal hotspot. Make sure that's on, the device will pop up here once you get connected under your password, and then it'll automatically remember your password each time, so as long as the connection is on, um, you will auto-connect. Next thing to do um, is get CarPlay and Android Auto. If you have an iPhone, just get connected to CarPlay through Bluetooth. And then in settings, one other thing you can do is Magic Box Lite settings. Um, auto enable Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So that is basically every time the Magic Box light gets fired up in your car, you drop into Android Auto or Apple CarPlay by default rather than the streaming options. That's a popular use case, that's what I use. So, whoops, you can just go to Magic Box Lite or settings and enable that. So then the next time I turn on my car, I'll just get dropped into Apple CarPlay. It's super, super simple. <clears throat> I'll get connected to CarPlay real quick and I'll just show you how to bounce back and forth. So we're connected up here. I'm now in CarPlay. We can see this. Um, to get back into the streaming options of the Magic Box Lite, just YouTube, Netflix, just hit car and you're back there. It's really that simple. You can toggle between these two all day long. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you're in the car play section of the magic box light and you go back to car because you're stopped and waiting for your food to be ready uh, for pickup, you are going to have to re-enable your Wi-Fi. That is a limitation um, of Apple and CarPlay. It's not a limitation of our product or magic brands. We've tried to get around it, but we have to play nice with them. So yeah, if you're going from CarPlay to streaming, just go back here and get connected to your Wi-Fi there. So turn it back on, get connected to your hotspot, you're good to go.